this is MikeBot. I'm going to be doing a really quick video today on the AMS color. This is a um, request I had on one of my comments and I figured I would just do a really quick video on it. So as I'm releasing these Hue Forge videos talking about the AMS and colors and all that, I'm getting a lot of questions. What colors should I have for my AMS? What colors should I keep on hand? What do I need? That kind of thing. So there's no clear answer for this because it really depends on how many AMS units you have, what you're really planning to paint, what you're planning to print. All that stuff comes into uh, consideration. But if I was to pick some default colors for everybody to kind of just choose and uh, uh, go with as default, something to always have on hand, here's my personal preference for colors that I always, always, always have two, three, four uh, of laying around. And then the other colors that I just have one or two rolls kicking around in case I need them kind of thing. So I'm going to start by going on to the bamboo site and we're just going to take a look at the AMS here together. So right now on the uh, global site, let's go on to the Canadian one. So as you can see, the AMS unit is expensive. Most people can't afford to even buy one. And the economy is shit right now. It is what it is. I struggle to buy this stuff myself, but uh, every now and then I manage to sell some 3D prints. I have a commercial license with SDL Flicks. I save up the money and then I'm able to buy one AMS. So long story short, um, I'm using 3D printing to kind of try to make money on the side and purchase the accessories I need to keep my hobby going. And I highly recommend you do the same, but make sure you do it with a commercial license. Do not take a chance. It's not worth the lawsuit. It's not worth the lawyers that will be involved if uh, somebody wants to crack down on you. I can't stress enough. Get a commercial license for what you are planning to print. So with Hue Forge, I have a personal license. So let's go to their site for a second and take a look at the licenses they have. Save your personal, which is $12 uh, US and it's lifetime. Then you have your limited commercial, which is $30 a year. And then you have your lifetime professional, which is $80 per year. And then your lifetime, which is 175. They aren't cheap. But basically, they give you the rights to sell anything that you make with Hue Forge and you're not taking a chance. So taking a look at the personal license first. So basically, this one allows you these specific terms for personal use. So you agree that it's for household use only. You can use it on multiple computers and it's for personal painting only. You cannot sell it at all. And then they give you two years of updates and maintenance with it. There will be a future fee for maintenance, uh, meaning updates, new releases, bug fixes. So you get two years for the $12. Not bad. They need to make money. This is probably a, a ton of work for them to make this program. Fair enough. So basically, you can't sell anything with your personal license. So now going to the limited commercial, let's see what that one comes with. So with this one, you can sell printed parts only, not the digital files. Take note of that. So if you want to make your own files, sell them, $30 a year, pretty reasonable. Next, we take a look at the professional. And this one here allows you to sell the printed and the digital files. And I only learned this today. So because of that, I may upgrade to this professional license because I'm going to I'm starting to learn how to use Hue Forge and I'm going to start to sell the digital files of these, which is really neat and something uh, basically that's going to help generate money so I can buy AMS units and filament and all that other stuff. So with the lifetime license, you basically get the professional for life. Now, if you want to do trial and error, uh, sorry, if you want to test it out to see if you can even sell anything, hit it here, 80 bucks US. That's what I'm going to probably do. And that's going to help me pay for my AMS unit and anything else I need. 
So I currently have two AMS units. I'm planning to get a third. And I need to sell some 3D prints, Hue Forge stuff to try to be able to afford it. So anyway, enough of that. So now back to the colors. So basically, if you have no AMS unit, you can still do filament swaps manually by hand. It takes time. You need to be attentive. You need to jump on your printer right away when it pauses and gets ready for the color change. So you can still do it without an AMS. So if you do have an AMS with four colors, the basics I recommend you have white, black, gray, and either red or blue. Those will help you get very basic prints. You'll still get nice looking uh, filament painting, but you'll also be able to do a wide range of 3D prints. I cannot stress enough keeping like 10 rolls of white on hand. The beauty of the white is you can paint it very easily and the paint sticks really nicely, especially if you prime it. Now with any colors, you can prime them and paint them, but white just works really well. So if you have an airbrush kit like myself, get white, airbrush it. So if you have two AMS units, go with black, white, gray, blue, yellow, green, and then I would say brown or orange. So have those by default. Everything else after that doesn't matter, personal preference, but try to have at least the basics. So if we look at a color wheel here, you can see which colors kind of combine with each other, complementary colors and all that. So white, black, and gray defaults, the shades, you need them no matter what. If you look at the color wheel here, you will see blue, red, green, yellow, orange, pretty much all the colors. And if you look at the complementary colors, so green complements purple, blue complements yellow, red complements light blue, and so on and so forth. So that's where I kind of get my colors and which ones to go with. So like I said, I like to have red, blue, green, yellow, orange, and then I actually do have purple. I do have two shades of blue. And I just got pink the other day from Polymaker. And I have brown, white, gray, you name it. I have every color and it's because I took advantage of a massive sale on every one. So that would be my recommendation. Uh, I know this is a really short video. Hopefully it gave everyone the information they needed and kind of tips on how to kind of generate some money so you can buy more AMS units and more filament. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching today. Mike Bot out.